Resveratrol is one of the most well-known, well-researched, and really famous chemicals in the whole anti-aging, rejuvenation, and longevity scene going on right now. But what most people don't know and have no cognizance of is that Ho Shu Wu actually contains similar and more potent chemicals to resveratrol. So it contains similar stilbene chemicals to resveratrol and they're more potent and it has a richer concentration and it's a fraction of the price. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about why this is, how this works, and if you're not familiar with what resveratrol is, I'll talk a little bit about that. Then at the end I'll show you this new exciting Hoshu extract that is incredibly potent, flavorful, and just really my favorite thing right now. So if you're not familiar with resveratrol, it's it's a chemical, uh, a still bean chemical that's found in you know red wine. Most famously, that's really where it's most well known. That's really why people say, oh, it's it's good for you to drink red wine because there's trace amounts of resveratrol in there, and they've obviously seen through a lot of research and correlation that it has positive health effects, like you know increasing longevity, helping to protect the genes helping out with cardiovascular health, being a great antioxidant, antiviral, anti-inflammatory, and overall sort of anti-aging rejuvenation agent. And some people believe it's sort of responsible for what's called the French paradox, meaning without going into it too much, you know, we as Americans, we have this idea of what a diet should be and what's healthy and what's not, but the French have this whole other thing but they don't have, you know, the obesity and the cancer and all these things that we do. So people were thinking, oh, well, maybe it's because they drink a lot of red wine. So that's part of how this chemical is getting, you know, really famous and getting really well known. The thing is, is that red wine contains about 1.3 to 3 milligrams per liter of resveratrol. So that means for every glass of wine that we drink, we're getting about 0.12 or 0.27 milligrams of resveratrol whereas you know red wine is great and if you want to drink it if you want to eat you're into it that's fine it's totally cool whereas hoshu as i said earlier contains similar still bean glycosides which are not only more potent and also more concentrated in the hoshu Wu. so hoshu Wu does so many other things that's really famed as an anti-aging longevity agent and this is part of the scientific validation for this understanding. So let's say you really wanted to get into resveratrol and you really wanted to experience those anti-aging rejuvenation benefits. Well, in one half teaspoon of this Hoshu extract, there's roughly 160 milligrams <laughs> of the still beans. So that's the equivalent of drinking 1,334 glasses of red wine to get a similar amount of the still beans, which you could just get in a half teaspoon of the Hoshu Wu. Now how I'm coming to this conclusion, how I'm making it up, is first I'm not just making it up and pulling it out of my hat and just making all these claims. No, this extract right here is a brand new extract that I've been working on. You can see it, it's almost pitch black, and hopefully, I don't know if you can see it, but it has a really resinous, oily characteristic to it for a few different reasons. Number one, it's a 16 to one Hoshu Wu extract. Number two, it's standardized to 8% of those still bean molecules that are very similar to resveratrol that we were just talking about. So that's how, you know, if you take a half teaspoon, it's two grams, well, what's 8% of that? 160 milligrams. That's how I arrived at those numbers. So that's just a really cool thing that I wanted to share because not a lot of people really know about it, and it's sort of buried in the research and people just glaze over it, but it's a really important and exciting thing because resveratrol is so hypey and so exciting right now, but really, you know, red wine and other supplements really aren't that, you know, ideal of a form to take it. Whenever you can get into Hoshu Wu and it's more potent, it's more cost-effective, and it has just a whole mountain of other health benefits from just those one little things that we're looking at. So now... I want to take a little bit of a different turn and, and talk about this new extract, which I just showed you here, you can see is pitch black. This is something I've been looking to find and been really on the hunt for for a, quite a long time. I was finally able to get it together and get it out. And now all of the Hoshu products that are on Hyperion Herbs are this 16 to 1 
concentrated extract. And as you saw, the extract is really dark and it has really kind of an oily characteristic to it because it was extracted with this really unique low temperature water extraction. And this, this is able to use some heat, yes, but not so much that it's aggressive and not use any chemicals or not use any alcohols or other solvents. Because of the way it's done with the hot water, it's able to pull out, yes, the, the water soluble, but also the oil soluble things, the fat solubles and all the resins. Hence, that's why this has kind of an oily characteristic and why it's so pitch black. And again, as I said, this is on Hyperion Herbs right now. There's actually a little bit of a sale going on on this because I want a lot of people to try it because it's so good and it's absolutely my favorite product right now. And again, something I've been on the hunt for for a really long time, so really excited to be able to bring it out because it's so strong and so potent in the flavor and even the smell and the aroma is so, so nice. And it's really something that you can you can really feel and it's I'm just excited and grateful and happy to be able to not only consume this for myself every day, but to be able to share it with people as well. So that's everything I wanted to cover in this video. We learned how Ho Shu Wu contains similar still beans, more potent still beans, and a richer concentration of still beans than you know, resveratrol and red wine. If you want to learn more about that, there's a blog article that I'll be linking below that tells you know more about that. And also be a link to where you can learn more about Ho Shu Wu and check out some of this super dark, crazy, flavorful, potent, delicious <laughs> extract, which for me, I've just made a delicious beverage out of and I'm gonna go consume this. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you soon.